Jaguar right. Now, she says she represents God, right? She says that she represents God. And she will sit there in an interview on Real Life Street Stars and say, God is a freak. That Oh, and I hate to say this. That she said, God is a freak that loves blowjobs. And if those weren't her exact words, that is basically what she meant. She said that in an interview with those people and nobody checked her. They laughed right along with her and continued their debaucherous, perverse conversation. I have not watched them since. And Jaguar, right, she speaks out for victims. Of, true enough, some of her lies are mixed with truth, and even with truth. And even when the people have tried to tell her, "Hey, this is not true," she'll get mad and cuss them out, like she did Christopher Williams. Even though Gene Deal, and he seems to be nice. Seems to be a, a, a good guy, or trying to be a good guy. Jean did tell her there was someone that worked at Uptown that looked just like, that looked like he and Christopher Williams could have been brothers. And that may be who she may have seen Diddy with, or that was probably who it was, rather than Christopher Williams. And instead of her just making a sincere apology, she makes a half half jack uh, a half idiotic a, a whole idiotic apology right a whole idiotic apology it, which basically says sorry not sorry cussed him out and cost, cost, called him all kind of faggots and it's because he was mad he was mad with her because she, Christopher Williams was mad with her because she was saying that he had had a same-sex affair with somebody and a woman that she knew walked in on them. And, you know, that Christopher Williams had had a same-sex um, encounter with Diddy and at Uptown Records is what Jaguar Wright said. And I'm like, okay, if you didn't see it for yourself, especially to tell that type of information where you basically out in somebody and without their permission anyway, why would you do that? Especially when she's known for saying that's not, she'll basically tell the whole story except maybe uh, give a specific name or give a specific point. But pretty much said the whole thing and then say, well, I'm not going to say anything else because that's not my story to tell. Or that's that, that's this person's story to tell. And I'm like, well, why you even brought it up? Shoot. Don't bring it up. <laughs> and so, I mean, Jaguar tells, you know, she will tell the truth, but she will tell lies and exaggerate and say things for attention. And I'm like this. I draw the line when you speak against, when you speak in disrespectfully against my God, especially after he says over and over and over in the Bible, respect him. Be ye holy as he is holy. And you, and you need to repent, Jaguar, right? You need to repent. I'm not judging you, but actually read the Bible and do not mix it with these world religions such as voodoo, because you say you're a voodoo priestess. And seriously, you cannot, you can't worship two gods. You either going to choose our Father in Heaven or you going to pick whatever demon is involved with voodoo because number one you can't speak to the ancestors them people dead the who you speaking to is persons demons that are imitating your relatives and your ancestors that's who you communicating with then you talked about the guy that was dealing with the roots, or he in the roots that had the pumpkin head in his closet and said, Oh, I don't oh I got I don't deal with him because he practiced voodoo or some kind of obey uh Yoruba or reach some stuff like that. 
And I'm like, didn't you just say, especially when she was in front of Terrence Gangster Williams, she made it a point to say that she's a voodoo priest. And I'm like, honey. And then I had, had sat up there and offered him something to eat. And I'm like, wait a minute. He from Louisiana. I'm from Louisiana. We know. Unless you dealing with that stuff yourself. Voodoo and stuff yourself. Even people who deal with voodoo know not to eat from just anybody. We don't eat from nobody. Just no anybody. And if we know you practice voodoo and witchcraft, we dang on sure not going to eat nothing you cook at all. And you talking about your home state, Louisiana. I don't think so. Because if it was, you would have known that. And you wouldn't have been, unless you trying to make some money uh, from it, you wouldn't be going around telling everybody you're a voodoo priestess. Because most people who practice the voodoo and witchcraft don't quickly share that with everybody. Especially here in Louisiana especially here in Louisiana. Now, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and God is serious. You do not play when you do not sit there and joke around about him being a freak and that's why he made sex and all that stuff. God is holy. Be ye holy like he is holy. Jesus said when the Pharisee, when the Pharisees approached him and it may have been the Sadducees approached him about Whose wife would this woman be, would this one particular woman be in the afterlife because she had married, um, she had married some brothers. When one brother died, she married the other brother because that's their, that was the tradition in ancient Jewish culture. And Jesus said, that people after they've gone when they've gone to heaven they don't they are like the angels they he basically was saying they don't have sex they don't marry you know they don't marry once you die you don't need to marry you know they like the angels in heaven it's not a need you know you don't need to do that so if you want to say if you want to say that you study the word and you out here representing God and doing the work, doing God, work God wants you to do, study to show yourself approved, okay? And I regret nothing that I say and I'm not afraid of anybody.